architecture is governance. People, rights, and opportunities. As you may well know, the annual population lecture series is an event organized annually and which primarily focuses on topical issues related to Nigeria's population and its development challenges. The broad objective of the series is to draw attention to the major emerging concerns that affect the well-being well -being of Nigeria's rapidly growing population, as well as its development trajectory and for the attention of policy makers and of course the general public. And I see this opportunity to thank the National Population Commission for our epic role they play in the generation and management of the nation's demographic data with positive implication for effective planning for the people in all areas, including job creation and other opportunities for livelihood sustenance and enhancement. We also appreciate the work of the NPOPC in areas of migration data, which helps with managing the crisis in that subsector. Our overall goal for the APLS is to promote conversation and constructive engagement that will result in policies and programs that will improve the prosperity of our country and its citizens. The UNFPA will support government to ensure that not only that the SDG is achieved, but it's achieved under the ambit of the demographic dividend with focus on the people. What seems clear to me is that this lecture, which is about governments, people, rights, and opportunities, lies at the heart of what we anticipate as a people and what the federal, states, and local governments must do for us to justify their existence. It is generally accepted by political theorists and most political scientists that satisfying the core expectations of the people is the central business of government. People must be carried along in the various, at the various stages of policy planning, decision making and implementation. And that's the reason why democracy is regarded as a sine qua non for good governance. It is thought that it is virtually impossible for you to have good governance absent a democratic structure of government because you need the mechanisms that allow you um, the opportunity to participate. You need the town halls, you need your representatives that you ha can invite and you can talk to as of right, or should be able to talk to as of right, not as of beneficence. Then there's accountability. Elected and appointed leaders are accountable to citizens. So, and all of this is not about it being done as of benevolence or beneficence. It is it being done as an issue of right. The people's right, the citizens' right. So it is not government doing us a favor. It is government doing us a service. And until we all understand it that way, Governance will not deliver to the people too much good. Government is not doing anybody a favor. Government is in service to the people. And the people interest is the priority or ought to be the priority of government. What we want is not just governance, but what we want is good governance. And that's the reason why the, I needed to elaborate that because I needed us to understand that whether good or bad, we will always have governance. But what is critical and what can deliver to the people rights and opportunities, social development is good governance. And good governance is people-centered. And it is desirable, not as an end in itself, but because it fosters a greater goal 
the goal of social and economic development. And I use that very broadly to engage all aspects of social and all aspects of economic. Good governance is a public good. It is a public good. It's a public good that you can claim as of right. It entails sound public sector management measured by efficiency, effectiveness, and economy, accountability, exchange and free flow of information, and an appropriate legal framework, an appropriate legal framework for development, justice, respect for human rights and liberties. Lack of information about government's activities will always lead to problems. It can, beyond the fact that people become alienated from government, which is typical.